Um, there's actually a bag that I totally missed that my boyfriend gave me. Um, this is my coffee maker. And he's kind of on his way right now. It's kind of weird right now because I don't have a functioning refrigerator, so I can't really cook. So what he does is he brings me coffee and breakfast. Um, it's been, I think, three days since he's been doing that. So sometimes when I look at my stuff, I totally get surprised because I forget that I have so many things. And like this eyeshadow from MAC, for instance, is called Perky. What's this? Like Black Tide. Stuff like this. Oh. So let's see what we have. Oh, look at this. Musan Chong Saja Chagyok Suchop Tian Mingo. I have um um I guess a license or more like a certificate in where I could do amateur radio ing or whatnot. Oh, these are my ping penguin magnets. I need a refrigerator. A big regular sized refrigerator to put these on. That's kind of like me and my boyfriend. <laughs> Basically, I spend so much money to like ship my junk cross country. Like, these kind of stuff. I know for sure I'm going to throw out. Like, what is this? Well, check this out. This is the Center of Intelligence. Central Intelligence Agency. Guess what it is? CIA! Well, I, I got it from the career fair because our school, I'm pretty sure a lot of schools have career fairs. And usually during career fairs, um, especially, I don't know, I guess like schools in New York, um, most of the time, Career fairs are dominated by investment banks, wealth management firms, or um, just business management firms. And that's what a lot of kids kind of gear their career towards. And other than that, it's really just more or less like the big companies like IBM or, um, you know, like Google. And um, it's really rare to see government agencies come to the career career fair and one of like the biggest non-bank non-management organizations that come and try to promote their organization and invite people to come work is I think the CIA and I I basically went to their booth because what they do is it's kind of stupid so you know you're you're hoping for intelligently reasonable people to come work for you and you really want like people to like genuinely like show their interest and ask intelligent questions and you know have interest in working in the field but it becomes like a competition between the booths and between all these organizations trying to recruit like the best smartest people so what it comes down to is like what kind of goodies do you have at your booth to stop a person and ask and listen to what you know you have to say so what the booth booth people do is they like have like fancy pens like all these fancy folders and CIA is actually like I went to the CIA booth because they had the best stuff like they had this and then they had this like really awesome memo pad I don't know where that is and then they had all these like really cool CIA engraved like pencils and pens and pins and then they actually gave like this huge bag and they had hand sanitizers that was labeled CIA you know you don't see those things often in your life so a lot of people were going to the booth just to get the goodies and pretend to you know show some interest in the work when in real life they were thinking, oh, oh, if only JP Morgan could hire me, or if only Goldman Sachs interview me, you know, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it was very fun because you would imagine that such a secretive organization like CIA 
wouldn't put themselves out like that, but I guess like in real life, they actually need to recruit a lot of people. So, you know, they have to go to college job fairs and do like try to lure people with stuff like this. Anyways, that was my little story regarding job fairs. Um, if you guys are in college, you really should go to every job fair possible because it could actually lead to a good interview and if you are a good networking person and if you socialize well, um, the people who usually come out to the job fair are people who are recruiters. So if you give them a good enough impression, you will always have a chance of them actually folding the tip of your resume when they put it in the huge pile that they received that's actually kind of like a secret code of okay i might look at this resume later and then when they go back to like their workplace what they obviously do is they kind of like already know who's good and who's bad so they throw away all the resumes that they don't want to look at and then the ones that you know they secretly folded or whatnot they look at it again and if they can't remember who you are then you're screwed because you're not going to get a call back but if you know, you gave a good enough impression, or if you're a charismatic person, then they'll remember you, and they'll give you a call, and ask if you want to come in for an interview, and then, you know, your career could probably launch from there, if you want to go to that field. Oh, my boyfriend said he was going to come with my breakfast. It's almost lunchtime. I'm hungry. Do you guys like my shirt? I got it at the Shed Museum in... Chicago, not sh sorry, Shed Aquarium in Chicago. Penguins! This is actually a men's shirt, but I got it anyways. And I actually bought my boyfriend <laughs> the same exact shirt too. Here's a Gentoo penguin. And oh, they're all Gentoos. Yep. I like it. And I'm hungry. Why is he not coming? Oh! <gasps> I think that's him. Okay, so what my boyfriend brought me is coffee, which he spilled half of it. Oh, I need my morning coffee. And then this shrimp salad, which I can't really seem to finish because I'm not really a big fan of the dressing he brought me. And, um... There was a sandwich here, as you can see. I devoured that. And then in the oven is two slices of cheese pizza that he says is really, really good. I just came back from a very long shopping trip. I actually went to TJ Maxx just to get a laundry hamper and um, a small basket so I could put my undies in it. But I ended up buying a lot of stuff. The first thing is my laundry hamper it says laundry on it it's very sturdy and it keeps its form because there's this wire in here so that's nice and then the guy put a lot of stuff in it what I actually bought is um, I bought a lot of kitchenware but this laundry hamper was $13 at TJ Maxx and I love how it looks I love the feeling. It's like a linen feeling. And um, I'll show you guys where I'm going to put this. Um, I really needed a laundry hamper. Let me just take everything out so I can show you guys. Alright. Anyways, I'll just kind of unpack with you guys. So this is a cup, a mug that I got. And it has these beautiful flowers and butterflies and moths I guess it's kind of like a gardeny picture I love this mug and it's the botanical no sorry botanic garden coffee mug 10 ounce it's made in England and it is $12.99 oh and then this is just a yellow flower mug that I bought mainly I'm probably going to use this in the bathroom just to put my toothbrush and stuff in it and Ta da! It's $2.99. If only my camera would focus. There we go. $2.99, and um, this is actually made from Indonesia. And I love it. There was a matching plate, but it had a chip on it, so I couldn't buy it. Alright, I'll show you guys this first. It's a dress form for jewelry. 
So, um, you could put like necklaces and stuff on it. I bought this not for myself but for Pretty DNA in hopes of using it as a prop or probably using it as um, a necklace display. But alright, I have three more mugs. Oh, these are just um, tiger butterfly mugs. And I bought it because they're very light and very easy to hold. And it was only $4.99. It's made in Indonesia. I'll sit over there. This is a matching cup. I think it's great for tea because it's so light. And this is also $4.99. I usually get two of each because um, just in case someone comes over or just in case my boyfriend wants to come over and eat or drink something, I'll have something for him. Oh, and here's another one of those Botanic Garden series. And it's the Rhododoradorum. I don't, I can't read this. Yeah. But, um, this was also $12.99, and I, I love these mugs, I don't know why. I just love it. The color, the flowers, like, the animals, the positions, everything just seems so right. So, there we go. These are the five mugs that I got. And then... Oh, let's make sure to recycle. Oh, so I'll just go with these. These I bought for props for those of you guys who actually been to Pretty DNA site. We actually use a lot of props in the background. So um, anything foreign looking or anything cool looking is bought to be used. And I just bought these not to eat but to um, use as props. You guys, if you guys go to the site and kind of look at all the pictures, you guys might be able to see this one day and look at them. This is so creepy. They're in the back alley sharing their drug cookie. Why is that guy feeding that guy a cookie? It's just, like, why is that dog watching? <laughs> Such a weird picture, but I like it. It's like 10. So this is going to be put away for props and I'm not going to eat it. And then I just bought myself uh, a pan so I can make myself some breakfast. And this was very cheap. $7.99. Guess where it's made in? Made in Italy. And when you buy these kinds of stuff, just make sure that there's no scratches. And I went through every single one just to figure out which one had no scratches. And this one actually has no scratches on it. So I'm happy. You go over there. And then, well, I'm kind of iffy about this. You guys let me know what you guys think. This is a picture frame, and I love the color, but I'm not really a big fan of high gloss. And this is a really high gloss type of um, frame. As you can see, there's a lot of gloss on it. So I don't know. But um, I'm, I'm guessing that my bedroom is going to be dominated by white furniture because my desk that's coming that's for the bedroom is actually white, my bed is white and then the dresser that I'm gonna buy is also white so I guess these kind of stuff could actually add a pop of color and it was really cheap, it's $6.99 they had two and I was thinking oh maybe I'll buy two but I don't know, I'll kind of think about it, what do you guys think? do you guys like it? they actually had black too but white on black I don't know, it's kind of too cliche and then they had purple, but um, the color was fading, so it was like very uneven coloring. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think of this Tiffany color frame. What I'm gonna put in here is probably a picture of me and my boyfriend, and we don't take pictures together that much. So if I can't find a picture, then I'll probably put a picture of my penguins in it. Next is. Oh, these are just basic plates that I got. Yay, so cute. I like it. 
and it's Royal Stafford made in England and it's only $2.99 how cool is that the patterns they seem very um, unified but if you actually look at the edges they're all just kind of like you know they all have like their unique shapes so I like it this is another plate like I said I usually like buying two or three plates just in case someone comes over or you know I have to feed someone this is the exact same plate oh. this is also from the botanic garden collection I bought this not because I need it but because I love these type of flowers so beautiful and they only had one left so I was like oh I have to have it it's kind of expensive though it's $12.99 made in England it's an 8 inch plate beautiful isn't it they have a lot of um, flowers and all different types of stuff but this is the one that I like the most and then oh these are bowls in a pretty I just bought it because I'm a Korean <laughs> just out of Korean pride this is actually from Ralph Lauren and guess where it's made from Gloria it's a soup bowl and it's $14.99 but I was looking at it and I was like oh it would be so nice if I could eat my cereal in it so I'll probably eat my cereal in it and then I got an exact same one because it would be sad if I only had one beautiful soup bowl so here's another one and I don't know if my boyfriend decides to stay over one day then he could eat breakfast with me and then this is a bigger version of the checkered plate I don't know, I just like the feeling of it. And, um, last but not least, oh, forgot to tell you the price. I think it's really cheap. Yeah, it's the same brand, made in the heart of the Baba Baba England. Look at it, it's like $3.99. How cheap is that? I think. So I think that's it for kitchenware. Um, oh, for those of you guys who were wondering how much this is, it's actually really cheap too. $12.99. Would you look at that? I like it. It kind of reminds me of Miss Ma. It's Miss Ma's over there. And this is Miss Ma's mini. Mini me, although she looks bigger. Let's see. Huh. Miss Ma has competition, but I really like this one. I'll show you guys how I could um, put accessories on it. It's really cute. And then um, I bought two baskets because I wasn't sure which one would be the right size. But this is basically for my bathroom because I need a place to put my undies. So as soon as I hop out of the shower and dry myself, I don't have to walk out naked and I could just get a fresh pair of undies right from the bathroom and then these are those door hanging um, over the door hangers okay come on and it's a 10 hook sorry 10 hook hanger and both are kind of different in design but I just got this brassy feeling one for the bathroom because the bathroom unintentionally has a lot of stuff that are kind of like a brassy color. Let me just put this over here. And then this one has a little bit more character to it. $7.99, the other one is $8.99. And see, it has a little bit more character. It's a little bit more curvy. I might just put this, um, I don't know, over my walk-in closet door or maybe over my main bedroom door. But, all right, let me just show you guys what the baskets look like. So it's just like those, um, what do you call these? Are these like wicker baskets? They just have like this and then they have this fabric over them. Um, the one inside is a little bit 
smaller than the one outside and this was $5.99 and then this was $7.99 and I'll show you where I was planning to put these See, there's my space saver over there. And once again, I'm flashing you guys with my undies. But those are all clean undies and I just don't have a place to put them. So I wanted to put like a basket somewhere there and move the to towels on the upper shelf. And those white boxes are just there temporarily. And I wasn't sure if this one would fit or the other one would fit. So my lovely laundry hamper will go right here yay so i could just put my dirty laundry in here and it'll never have to leave the bathroom because look at look at this my laundry just kind of is like all over the place because i don't have a place to put them but if you open it ta-da and you close it that'll be cool oh uh, before i go what do you guys think of these mugs do you guys like it is there anything that you guys don't like I might return these, but these are so convenient. I like them because they're so, what should I say, so light. So light, it just feels like paper. And these are more, you know, heavy duty. Oh crap, I have a mug over here. I don't really need a mug, but I bought like five. Um, and the thing is like, it's a little bit hard to grip. You know what I mean? The handle isn't really ergonomically, um, comfortable, but um, I don't think I'm gonna give up my botanic garden mugs. Uh, this one, maybe I don't know, I'll think about it. These two, I don't know, I'm scratching my head, but, anyways, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go try and see if this basket fits because I like this fabric better, and the basket seems a little bit more sturdy. And this basket is actually from the same brand that made my laundry hamper, which is Taylor Madison.